Joined again by Jerry Power of Emergence. Um, Jerry, in previous blogs, we've spoken about the claims that emergence are experiencing in the club industry. Today, what I'd really like to talk about is what clubs can do to mitigate the uh, chance of those uh, issues occurring. John, it's a good question. I would start by saying one of the, the key issues is make sure that you have a competent IT partner by your side, um, and a managed services yep. provider. So they will be your guardians of the IT infrastructure. Yep. They will work with your IT manager um, to make sure that uh, the controls are in place. Yep. But from a risk management perspective, there's a number of things that companies can do. And my advice to you today is from the claims that we manage and we see what um, companies or clubs could have done that they yeah. didn't do. So number one is multi-factor authentication. Yeah. So our 2FA or MFA. Yeah. So it introduces another level of complexity to an organization yeah. so that if somebody has their email address or password compromised, that isn't enough. It's a second factor. A second factor, yeah. uh, a message or a code yeah. to your phone to get through. Yeah. So that's very, very good. Uh, disabling legacy systems, I find, is important because sometimes uh, legacy systems or old systems are ignored by, by clubs and as such potentially a weakness or a vulnerability there can then be the entry point for the threat actor and then they elevate their way through, through the, the system. organization. Yeah. Okay. Backups are critically important. Yeah. If, there's, if there's anything that's valuable to us as incident responders is having a good set of backups and when I say a good set of backups, uh, you should be backing up every day and keeping those backups off-site and um, keeping them uh, potentially in the cloud as well. Backing up your systems is a risk management um, process for all parts of it, not just cyber. Absolutely. So Absolutely. It's, it's, it's critical. So uh, the other thing that um, we find is your employees are in effect your last line of defense. Yeah. So once all your IT controls um, don't catch the threat actor, it is your employees at the other side of that email that you want to apply judgment and say, should I be opening this? Human error. <laughs> Absolutely. And human error is a good point because under the Notifiable Data Breaches Scheme, we see that 38% of data breaches in Australia are caused by employees doing the wrong thing. So is the solution to that regular training for employees? Very much so. Yeah. And, and uh, business is getting very savvy as to how that's done. Yeah. In the past that used to be face-to-face -face training where now there's some very sophisticated systems where there can be short snippet videos, two to three minutes yeah. long, and then the results of those can be tracked. Yep, okay, that's good mm -hmm. advice. The other thing that uh, is very, very important is keeping your systems up to date. So when a, um, um, an, an update or a patch is deployed by the software developer, then that should be deployed immediately. Yep. Because uh, the reason that's important is the criminals know that that software has a weakness because they're watching all this stuff. So if you take a month to deploy the patch, what it's doing in effect is giving the criminals a one month opportunity for a vulnerability that they already know about yeah. and you haven't fixed it. Yeah. Um, the other thing that is trending at the moment is cyber crime or cyber theft as we yes. call it and social engineering fraud. Yes. So. Um, that's where dodgy invoices are being created yeah. and companies are paying them. Yeah. So there's a number of controls you can put in place there. Uh, one I think is the most effective one is if you get an invoice to pay, pick up the phone, ring the person through independent means, not through the phone number on, on the, the email. email. Yeah. That's right. <laughs> and then verify with them, yeah. and that's a very effective way yeah. of managing financial loss.